Hi, I'm DJ Ware. On this episode of the Cyber Gizmo, I'm going to show you how to create live wallpapers on Linux. That is, I'm going to put some video on the background right after this. So what we're going to want to do here is obviously log back in <laughs> over here, and uh, I'm oops. Let's uh, let me switch my keyboard out here. So we're doing stuff right. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm going to want to do is let me just get rid of this terminal for now. The first thing we want to do is we we'll want to go find a site called. We're going to be using uh, Como Rebi for this today, and I need to find the GitHub page for this. And we'll go over here, and this is where we want to be. This allows me to create animated wallpapers for Linux. Uh, as far as I know, it works with any of the desktops. Um, I. They don't have a, a you know a specific set of requirements here, but they are using GNOME 3 staging. So this may be a GNOME 3 only uh, release. So not real sure about that, but what we're looking for is we want the releases page. I'm going to guess it probably is GNOME only. <clears throat> and right here, this is 2.1. This is the most current version. This was released in 2018. They don't have to update this very often because, you know, this kind of thing doesn't change that much. So we'll download that. And I'm going to open this up with Eddie. Uh, now, you can open this up also with the Ubuntu store if you're using Ubuntu or something else like that. Now, I've already installed it, but that's all you'll have to do uh, is just get it installed. Uh, let's see. Once we've done that, the next thing we'll need to have is we'll need to have support for video. So how do we do that? So... Uh, I'll put this in this command right here in the I'll put the the link to the GitHub page and I'll also add this one in here so that you'll have the G streamer if you want to use video. But you'll need this. <clears throat> Otherwise the videos will not display. Now again, I've I've already done this, but what's all right? It's it's not gonna it's not gonna cause a big problem. Uh on your in your case when you install this it'll install a number of packages with this so at this point we should be good to go um, let's uh, let me let me just get oops let me just get rid of this stuff here and we'll go over here so once I've installed this, I should get Como Revy and I should get the wallpaper creator. So we'll start with this right now because there are a number of default ones that come with it. Uh, and then when you right click, you'll have change wallpaper or create desktop preferences. Uh, so the ones that come with it are, are these. These are two that I created and I will show you how you can create your own today as well. So <clears throat> this one's kind of subtle. It just slowly changes color over time. The, the video image doesn't change. It just modifies the color in this one. Let's try another one. One of the defaults. This is another one of the defaults. It looks like a, a drone view. Uh, this is controlled. You can add this or leave it out if you want from your videos. Uh, when you're creating your wallpaper. Uh, also, you can also elect to have it show your desktop uh, icons if you wish. Let's try one more. And then I'll show you how to create one. So this is a, a, a time lapse of an Aurora Borealis, obviously. It's kind of nice. But all right, so I want to create my own, right? So I, that's more interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Pixel Bay, which is a uh, it is an area it is a site that hosts free to use uh, content. So this allows you to create uh, 
Uh, it allows you to download videos and use them either commercially or non-commercially. Uh, as long as you don't attempt to, you know, alter them in any, any way or, you know, rip them off and, and make them and make it look like it's your work. It's not. So let's see if we can find one <clears throat> that might be a good candidate for a background here. That looks like a door opening. What's this one? Don't want anything too fast moving. I'll get seasick if I do. <laughs> uh, I guess that's all right. Uh, let me see if I can find something a little better though. I don't. I don't know if I really like that one. That one's too bright. There we go. Time lapse. Yeah, that'll work. So let's do, let's see if we can find one that's 19.2. Yep, right there. So we'll download that one. And uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and save that. So we'll need two things. I mean, after this downloads, I, I'm going to, I think that's done. Yep, it looks like it. So uh, let's go over to my download folder. I'm going to go ahead and put this in pictures. It's where I've been collecting them. <clears throat> so uh, there's my night sky. So I'm just going to open this up, and then I will need to create a snapshot. Let's see. Where do we want one? How about right about there? That looks good. And this is, acts as the thumbnail for the wallpaper when uh, Como Revy uh, displays it. So all right, we're done with that. So the next thing we need to do is to find that snapshot. It should be in here right there. I'm just going to rename it to Night Sky so that we can find it again. And then the next, I can leave Coma Revy up. It's not going to hurt anything. So the next thing I want to do here is go find the wallpaper creator, which is this one right here. And I'll give it a name. Let's give it that. And we'll, we want this to be a video. And it, it wants two pieces of information. Obviously, first it needs to know where the video is. And then Night Sky is right there. And then we'll want to tell it where the <clears throat> thumbnail <laughs> is. Okay. So, let's go find the Night Sky thumbnail. And that should be right there. We'll hit next. And I'm, I can display that time and date, but I really don't want to, so I'm going to hide it. Uh, these other things here are, <clears throat> if you are displaying the time and date, you can position it on the screen, and you can you can also use an offset uh, for your, you know, where it's going to position it, and <clears throat> and then whether or not it's always on top of the image or not. But we're not going to display it, so we don't care about that. So the next thing you'll need is this little statement right here, which is going to move. It's, it just created a directory and copied all of this stuff in it. So I'll need to go and open up a, a window here. And as you can see, there is uh, something called Night Sky right there. So I'll just paste in that statement, and that's going to move it into System Resources Como Revy. Okay. So at this point, I can go ahead and close this. I'm done with it. <clears throat> and we'll go ahead and close this for now as well. All right, let's see how we did. Let's change the wallpaper. There's my night sky. There we go. It's as simple as that. It, it, I mean, you can, you, know, you can add whatever video that you want to this. Uh, it, and... <clears throat> but one thing you should be aware of, in the interest of full disclosure, uh, because you are use, you are streaming a video to your screen, basically, you are going to be taking up some system resources to do that. 
as you can see, there's a couple of processors that are running about, oh, I don't know, 16, 17%, somewhere around in there. Uh, it's not a heavy load, but if you don't have a lot of processors on your machine to begin with, you're probably going to be not wanting to use this very often. However, uh, if you just use this to as a wallpaper manager for static images, let's see, I think some of these might have some video in them, but let's, let's just see how that does. Now it is it is going to refresh the clock, but obviously it has dropped down the resources quite a bit that it's taking because it's a static image. So whether or not you choose to run this all the time, I mean that's up to you. But I just want some people are asking me how I did it. This is how I do it. I use Coma uh, Revy. And that, and that is pretty much all I had for today. Just a real simple application. Uh, there is a uh, one thing uh, I should. Well, I guess I should show you that, huh? So let me, let me I missed it again. So let's see. Let's go. There's a, you'll, you'll probably notice this directory structure looks a little Mac-like. Um, and it's because it was originally written for Mac. So, yeah, so it is going to look a little bit like that. But let's go look at the night sky one that we just created. Uh, so you'll notice in here is there's my video uh, right here. And there's the thumbnail. And also there's a config file here. So in the config file, you have control over a number of things. So let's just go down through it. So this is the wallpaper. It's a video. This is the video file. If you want the date time displayed, visible is set to false. You can set it to true. Uh, I don't know what parallax is, so I'm not going to comment on it. Uh, the margin top is the distance. If you're at the, you know, you, if you're moving this around on the screen, you're, where this gets aligned in the position is center and center. So you can do center right, center left, top right, top left, top, uh, and also bottom, bottom right, bottom left. And then you can use the margins uh, from right and left, top and bottom to determine what distance it's away from the sides of the screen here. So yeah, so you can you can control where you want it on the screen exactly. Uh, rotation is you, you can even rotate it in X and Y and Z axis if you want. And then <clears throat> there's one other thing here, whether it's always on top or not, and I don't see this one particularly have it. At least I don't see it, but there is one. You'll notice that in the uh, in the configurator when we were generating the wallpaper, it asked if you wanted to have this always on top, and so that would then appear in here as well. You can change the fonts if you don't like the default ones that it chooses. You can add you can add your own for both. The time font is different, can be different from the as in, as is the case in this one, but you can change the time and the date font independently and the size of the font is right next to it. No, it's not too difficult. And then how much alpha you want to apply to the date and time when it's placed on top of the image. So that's basically it. Um, that's basically all I had for today. Uh, and and uh, if, if there's something that you use, I've tried a number of them. Uh, I've tried wall setter and that that doesn't work too well in the, in the at least for me so uh, please let me know in the comments below if there's one that you use that you like and uh, hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did please like and subscribe and again as always hope to see you again real soon and bye for